Hello, how are you guys doing? I'm doing all right today. We got a uh, we got a couple games for you today. Uh, I actually found some stuff on my Steam queue that looked good, and then when that petered out, uh, I checked out the uh, section of the Discord that we have uh, for subs, where it's just recommendations of games, um, and and found uh, a game called uh, Post Mouse, and I found a game called Tales and Tactics. Tales and Tactics looks like a me game. I've seen uh, Northern Lion play it. Um, my concern is that it's gonna be like, uh, it's gonna be like Super Auto Pets where I just start saying incoherent sentences, but unlike uh, whatever, like uh, Super Auto Pets, I don't know if they'll be as funny because they won't be about like, oh, put the watermelon on the whatever, you know? I don't know. Uh, so this first game is actually free. Uh, it's on Steam. Um, and it looks cute as all get out. Um, it's called Post Mouse. It was made by a single student, apparently. Uh, and, uh, there you are. Who is Erebus? How you doing? We were kit bashing, uh, Erebus the other day. Uh, I was actually working on him right before I started stream. I cannot for the life of me figure out how to get his arm on right. It's like a hand to wrist thing happening. And I don't have any pins. So I just have to like hope the glue works and I'm like not super into that. So I'm gonna have to find some pins. But anyway, this is post mouse. I'm gonna see if it's any good. I mean, I like little fellas. Post mouse. Boss, what? Post mouse, I have a job for you. I know this is sudden, but no one has seen Carl the Post Pigeon in three days and the post office is getting seriously backed up with all these letters. That's the entire reason. Yeah, I uh, I play word bearers and uh, was doing a conversion for Abaddon uh, that's just Erebus. Because I figure, you know, he's probably warped at this point. So it makes sense to me. But that's why you got gifted, is uh, I was trying to explain who is Erebus. I'm going to deliver it myself, but I'm not as young and spry as I used to be, so it's up to you. But boss, I've never gone that far out before, and I've never gotten any training for this. Post Mouse, I've seen that twinkle in your eye, and I can tell you want to get out and explore the world beyond our little nook. Well, yeah, but this is all so sudden and... If you want to do well today, you might even prove that you've got the guts to deliver alongside the veteran post pigeons. So how about it? I, I can try it. Very good. Now the recipient you're looking for goes by the name of Pablo. You should be somewhere over yonder by the Great Crane. You can use this map uh, next to the post office if you need to orient yourself. Now hop on it. I mean, just like, yeah. I saw some screenshots of this game and I'm like, yeah, this looks like something that chat's just going to be like, yes. Like little fella, you know, little fella games. Chat likes its little fella games. All right. So where am I going? I'm going next to the Great Crane and I'm over by the post office. So that's going to be like leftish. Hey, oh, hi, Post Mouse. Where are you headed? The boss gave me a letter. He did what? Oh man, I can't wait to see that pigeon's face when he sees that you had to fill in for him. He'll be so embarrassed. So who are you looking for? Someone named Pablo? Pablo, hmm, where have I heard that? Got it, Pablo is a tortoise if I remember correctly. You know, the giant shell, menacing beak, can swallow a whole mouse. But I'm sure it's fine. We've had a case of predation around these parts for, we haven't had a case of predation around these parts for a better part of a cycle. Tortoises are usually fine. I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Thank you for warning me. Is this like a how to leave? Jumps? No, not there. Where do you want me to go? Doesn't that just lead back to where I was? I guess not. Controls are a little awkward, but like the fella energy is off the charts. 
wonder if there's fall damage in this game. It doesn't seem like the kind of game where you get hurt. You're a funny one. For legged folks don't usually get this close to my nest. What, do you, uh, what are those round things around your head? Can I touch them? My ears? Ears? Never heard of them. More importantly, have you seen any stamps? Stamps? Kind of square and have some really cool pictures on them. I'm collecting them. I named them after me, so they all legally belong to me. I'm stamp. Oh. You're not very talkative, are you? Anyway, if you're heading out, if you're, if you see any stamps, could you show them to me? If you bring me enough, I'll show you my personal favorite. I'll even give you a hint to get you started. See that white tree truck over there I'm looking at? If you climb up using the mushrooms, put a secret stamp there. Um. But, what? Here? Cool. Got a stamp. All right, so that's that's what it's talking about, is go do that. Is there a map? Okay, so I just kind of got to remember where I am in positioning to stuff. And it looks like I kind of just need to go along the river. I mean, this doesn't seem like the kind of game that's going to be, like, super hardcore. I wonder if I can swim. Seems very fast for a little mouse. But I don't see another option. Let me try going down a bit. Alt to use instinct. All right, that's like detective mode. Oh, I guess that's him over there. Hello. Excuse me. Excuse. I, I have this post. Little one, I think you are mistaken. No, no, this is definitely a letter. <laughs> I meant about me. Yes, this must be the letter for my cousin, Pablo. I can see why one would be mistaken. We look alike, even have the same matching shell patterns. So I'm so sorry, I got the wrong person? You looking fours down the river the other direction. I can't travel down the river. You can follow it. Here, you can cross the river where it is narrow. Okay, so I gotta cross the river, a river here. Oh, little, little, little glitch there. It's a little bit jank. I mean, this is a student project. Like I said, like, I kind of forgive it for its jank. It's also free. Um, and this game already has, like, a lot of heart. Like, they're trying to do a thing. So, like, the fact that it's, like, a little janky... I was gonna say, I thought, like, I was going the wrong direction for that, but... It gave me a little circle telling me that to go that way. Didn't I see a... Was it on the tree somewhere? Oh, there's, like, a branch that goes across the... You don't have to... <laughs> okay. Okay, that's not it. Where are we going? Ah, oh, there we go. There he is. Oop. I wonder if this one's easier. Oh, no. It's the, the new March on the Mice. I wish I could make graphics like this. Me, like, saying that I don't like, uh, generic, dark-as-hell, PS1-inspired whatever games on itch has really caused a lot of people to come out of the woodwork and say stuff like, Well, it was so easy, you make a video game. I did. I did. I've made three. Shut your fucking mouth. Wow! Oh! They're not traditional video games because I don't know how to program, you know? Neither do those people, but they're willing to go to bat for them. So, I mean, figure probably doesn't matter, right? What is this? A small creature has entered my field of vision. Do you know the mayor? Or mayor? This is the one in the charge of town. Not, not personally? 
Shame, I have been pacing around here for all too long and I seem to have wandered into a place I can't get out of. C can you not swim? Swim, I'm a tortoise, not a turtle. I don't want to get my wares wet. I'm a merchant, you see. I was waiting for news in town, planning to scout the area. The bureaucracy around here is unbearably slow, and I should know. Are you counting the seasons of Town of Nowhere as different games here? Yes. Functionally, I suppose I am. Are you Mr. Pablo? The one and only. Why do you ask? I have a letter for you from the Yellow Woods Town Hall. Truly. The lettering is small and hard for me to read. Postmouse, could you read it for me? Maybe a cute voice like yours would soften the blow of rejection. I I'll do my best. Dear Pablo R. Tortoise, we're happy to inform you that your application to establish Pablo's a a arid land goods has been approved by the Yellow Woods Ministry. You are establishing... You are to establish your merchant store no later than the end of the fall, otherwise the offer uh, the space to another candidate. Remember to register your lot with Nettle S. Hedgehog at the town hall. Kindly, kind regards, Yellowwoods Town. I'd prepare myself for rejection, and you, my little savior, have given me hope. Well, don't kiss the messenger. I must say, I wasn't expecting a little creature like you, yourself, to do delivery of important letters like this on foot. Did they run out of pigeons for the forest? Curious. It's a longer story, but I'm happy to have been of service. Yay! I did it. We're just helping with little mouse problems, you know? We're, we're just a little guy. We're just a little fella. Now I gotta figure out how to get back. I would assume I needed back at the post office because I mean like where else would I go after delivering a letter? Um Oh, okay. It's got instructions there. The only issue is that he's stuck on an island. Now that I look at it, I might be stuck too. Hmm. Can I go through here? Does this help any? Seems like there is a- Wah! Okay, that was scary. Maximum little fella energy has been attained. The controls are a little flighty, I'm not gonna lie. Um, you, you do, like, tend to just, like, yeet at full speed in any direction you tap. But again, like, I, I'm willing to forgive it because it seems like someone actually gave a shit about this project. Even if they didn't do it perfectly. You know, the vibes are immaculate. And obviously, you know, I, I made the town of nowhere, which has, you know, similar little fella energy. Um, where am I going? I mean, there's a crane here or something, right? That's what the old crane is. Could we get it to work? I don't know why I'm going up here, but it's an option, so I'll do it. Yeet. I don't know if it gets much better than that. That feels pretty damn good right there. Maybe just a tad further. Oh, no, that's literally as far as it goes. Okay, great. Uh, so now I have to get down. Looks like I do that by going... Not gonna question who made this. It could be a relic of humanity or something. I don't know. Also, what are these little bushes? Ferns? How are they that small? Hey, just want to let you know that the bridge is fixed. 
I don't know how you managed, but the rumbling sound is back, and I the way is clear. Now I can make it uh, to my lot in time. You have saved my business and my hide. If there's anything you need, come back and ask. Thank you, Sir Pablo. I was happy to be of service. Mm. It's time to head back, I guess. Head back to the post office? Yes. Okay, so it'll just let me teleport. Cool. Post mouse, back so so. Recipient was a bit stuck, but I actually helped with that huge tortoise out. Managed, did you? Tell you what, post mouse. I'll keep running the desk if you keep it out with these letters. And I'll keep a lookout for that bird brain Carl while you're out. Well, the first delivery wasn't that bad. I, I could take another. So where am I going? There's a right out of true. How do you feel about heights, Pipe South? Uh, heights? As long as I can land safely. The letter is addressed to Eris, Dinah, and Amori. They're in a nest of robins living at the top of the clock tower. You know, the tall structure to the north. Uh, all the way up there? It's just a bit of height. I'm sure you'll manage. It's fine. There are plenty of folks pouting. Blah, 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 blah. It's a bit of a Zoidberg, isn't it? Oh, what's that about? Why is that? Can I climb this? Is that what that's implying? Oh, it is. I don't really feel like that was net. Mm, okay. Oh. Okay, that was a little awkward. Boss gave me a letter, but he said he have to climb to a high clock tower. For oh, fuck, that is high. Okay, let's go. But yeah, I think, um, you know, March of the Mice is definitely to be on a hiatus until um, it becomes less depressing for people. Oh, hello. You're a cute little mouse. Post mouse. You help I heard you helped that m merchant get settled in. I only gave him a letter. That's all you had to do. The rest was merely, merely bureaucracy. Those damnable hedgehogs always take forever to decide on anything. Well, at least the post arrived quickly. Speaking of, you don't usually deliver letters, do you? I, I had to step in because Carl the Post Pigeon hasn't shown up for work the past three days. You mean the post office poster boy? Carl? That's weird. Hopefully he just sat down with the... He's just down with the flu or something. Didn't you used to idolize him? I remember it was so cute. You had a picture of him on your wall and everything. Sasha! Don't worry, I won't tell a soul. Sasha. Yeet! Oh, fuck, okay. Good use of, like, the space in repetition. You know? Like, yeah, we're going to have to explore some stuff, and that's going to mean that we're going to backtrack a lot. Postmouse is a really good idea for, like, you know, utilizing the fact that you don't have all the development time in the world. Just make a couple of good platforming areas, have some good plot, and you can reuse that area over and over and over and over again. It's the same way that, like, rogue, not roguelikes, um, I don't know. All those trash games from those day games the other day made me appreciate simple things about stuff, about games. Yes. Also, I'm having, like, really bad dyslexia today. I'm just all over the place. I don't think I can get through there, and I don't think it's the intended path, even if I can. Hmm. I mean, we got, like, a, a river here. Oh, boy. Huh, okay. Does that tree have... Oh, you're right. I would 
I would wish that that was a little easier to figure out. Ah. Uh, it's more of a brook. For someone my size, it feels like a river. Also, I live in Texas where we don't we don't have bodies of water. We we call Lake Austin Lake Austin despite the fact that it is not a lake. It is in fact a river. God damn it. Okay, that's a little fiddly. Can I maybe I can just press E to drop? I've been pressing space instead. Okay, E was the correct answer. I'm dumb. That's what happened there. I'm just used to hitting space to jump off ladders and stuff in video games, and so I just kinda did it wrong. Can I drown in this? Yes, okay. <laughs> Oh, hey there. Hello. Ahem, excuse me, I'm trying to calculate the value of this property. Wh what property? This giant structure you see here, right in front of you? Legend says the family of giants lived there all by their lonesome. But that was ages ago. Oh, well, I'm gonna go in there and deliver a letter. You are? Well, keep an eye out for ghosts. I'm aiming at a market that wants to live in haunted mansions. Ma mansions? wouldn't understand post mouth the landlord's work is quite involved and important okay i don't know about that there's so much free real estate to climb or claim and repurpose all for me and my future tenants yeah can i just shove you in the water say would you be asking for the price of first what would you be asking for a price of a structure all the way up there i better go now yeah yeah stick it to the man why do you deserve to say that you own this? All right, so I could try and hop along the wall here, or I could go what appears to be the intended route and do this. I think if you were trying to speed run this, you'd probably go for the other way, but you know. Ah! Oh, fuck. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad that, like, when you get done with your mission it just goes hey you want to go back to base like that that's that's good moss uh it, yeah lichen is a type of uh moss that appears on trees it's uh you usually just see little fuzzy white greenish bits All right, so now we got to figure out how to get over this wall, and it appears that the path is right here. So at its core, this is a uh, platformer that just, it goes, go to an area, and then you do, and then there you're done. I love this guy's little outfit, by the way. He's uh, fucking adore. What is that? Hello, friend. A mouse? A mouse? Tell me, a mouse, do you hear it? Hear what? The anxious chirping of the younglings. Oh, I've been listening to it all morning. What should I do about it? Are you sure you don't hear too? Though the mice don't have good hearing. Try focusing your hearing. How do you know they're in distress? More importantly, how do you not? If you're headed up there, would you check in with them and make sure that they're all right? I'm on my way to deliver a letter. Do you think it's for them? Could be, could be. I mean, like, it's not the best game I've ever played, but man, I am so, like, hungry for a good game that's not Baldur's Gate that I'm just like, hey, this is pretty nice. It's just a little fella game. I like little fella games. That's nice. Where am I going? Wait, now what? Oh, I got to make, like, a jump. Okay. My cat is now pawing at the screen. Good. Do not let him catch mouse.
cute. This game is very cute. I agree. Hello? Are you friends? Crawl into the unknown? I guess. Okay. Well, we're inside now. Oh, okay. We're fine. We're fine. Um, not what I intended to do, but it worked. So I guess it's fine. Let's see what this button does. Apparently nothing. All right. Where does it go? Plugs into the wall. Um. Oh, jeez. All right. So one end goes that away, and that turns this on the other. So this moves the bed, I guess. But the power's been turned off, and that's why it doesn't work. Okay. Post mouse sounds like a, a music genre. Sure. Go and collect the stamps. I don't know as if I'm actually gonna 100% this game, but. What are the chances that I can stand on that rope? I'm thinking it's pretty low, so that's probably not the intended method to get across. It very much feels like the intended method is probably to. Oh, wait. Has there been a board there this whole time? Cool. I was trying to figure out how to get across, and then it was as obvious as just, like, just do it. Oh, no. Someone died. Like, dad or something? Oh, hey, it's another one. This game going to be sad? Um, I don't know. I literally don't know anything about this. Uh, I just saw it and I'm like, I'm looking at the, the pictures on Steam and I'm like, yeah, that looks cute as shit. Chat will get a kick out of that. Let's go ahead and play it. So I guess we're going up this way. It's like a coat hook of some sort. I see. So we want all of them to be clicked forward, whatever that does. Oh, it's one of these puzzles. I see. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's not one of those puzzles. What is this, then? Just trying something random so that way I can see only one at a time? Quite possibly. Oh, I see. All right. So this is uh, now we got to figure out which one's hooked up to that. All right. So we definitely don't want the last one. It's not that one. All right. So... I mean, I can't really get low enough to see whether or not I've done this right or not. Okay, I think what we need to do is we need to figure out which switch it is, then we climb back up here, which is a little unfortunate, but okay. A mushroom fella. Some lichen to climb, but I don't really need to. Oop. Oh. The bed control is missing a button. Okay, 
There we are. Okay, so it's not the first one or the last one. Let's just follow this strand around and see where it goes. Because the blocking line of sight thing means that we don't really know. Okay, the one that's going up there. And it comes down this side. And it goes up there to what looks like the second one. Okay, so two. Music is good. Oh, shit! Like I said, the controls are a little flighty at times. Can you guys not hear the music? It's pretty quiet. I'll turn it up some. There's not a lot of music. All right, it appears to be that one, and we can go down here. The audio is registering at about negative 45. My voice is at negative 10, and it's cranked up uh, to negative 1.9 decibels, so it's just a quiet song. That's what it does. Okay, that's why there's a climbing light like in there. I thought it was gonna roll like over this gap, but no, it's just to do th this. That makes this light can make a hell of a lot more sense because I was like, it doesn't really seem like I need to use this. Move into the dark unknown? Yes. This seems like a, a early PlayStation launch title. You know what I mean? Like, look at our game. It's called Game. We wide scrolling. Web side scrolling now, I guess. Oh, sh okay, we're good. Oh, okay. I heard that um, Dark Tide got an update. You'll be happy to know I won't be streaming it because who actually gives a shit? But it got updated. So that's cool. Where? Where? Oh. Okay, game. Oh, no, you want me to go this way. Would you play it again if the up... I mean, I might go play it by myself, but, like, I can't... Like, they just didn't finish the game, which is unfortunate. Like, we're gonna have to wait until the game basically is like, yeah, we're done updating it, and then it might be a game. But the fact that it's just sort of like, I mean, it, it looks nice, it plays nice, but it's so one-dimensional and there's so little content. <sighs> I was still looking forward to it. Yeah, same. It goes places conceptually, it just doesn't go anywhere, like, mechanically. Like, there's nothing to do. What is this? do by the way 
Turns on a light. Okay, can I companion cube this? I don't know why I need to do this, but like maybe this cube is the weight of one mouse? Cool. But yeah, and then um, other big news that's happening in the world right now. Elon Musk has announced that he's going to get rid of blocking because I would assume because it's not helping. Uh... Can I fix this? Oh, oh shit. Okay. I would assume it's because a lot of people are uh, just blocking every blue check mark, like, you know, I do. And uh, it's causing them to lose money. And he needs to pay back his debtors at some point, else the website just will stop functioning. So, um, he can't keep not paying the debt. I mean, that's why the they had the uh, tweet viewing limit there for a while. A lot of people are talking about moving to blue sky or whatever. I, I don't know, man. Just like, tell me where everyone's going and I'll go there too. Cause like fucking, the problem is people are lazy about this and don't want to actually switch. And so it doesn't really matter how fucked up Elon Musk makes the website. People will still use it. I mean, like MySpace still is active. Fun fact. Google Play requires social media to have a blocking feature, so either he won't do it or he will and it'll kill it for good. I mean, that's the other thing is like, who knows if he'll actually even do it. That cube is too small, I guess. Does this one count? Do I need this one? Okay, I guess I like yeet that down. Yeet. Okay, I mean, good enough, whatever. Oh, okay, well, there's more cubes over here. That seems like it's made things worse. Uh, something... I did something and made this entire place start to move. Maybe I can access somewhere I wasn't able to before. Just got to be careful to not get crushed. Fair enough. I think Elon Musk wants to be the inventor that he claims to be, and that requires him to do things. And that's the problem. And it turns out that he's not actually some sort of genius he's just kind of dumb and uh yeah he doesn't have good ideas and he keeps trying to pretend like he does and he has enough you know people at his side trying to make it that way it seems like he does yeah i mean like there's certain things that i don't want to do and so I just don't make it my job. I don't I don't know how to really explain that concept to Everyone's blocking his tweets. It could be either, honestly. You have Musk blocked. Probably healthy decision. How high up I am? Oh, I'm very high. I take it I can't climb on that, so I guess I'm climbing on this. Oh! I haven't blocked, but it doesn't stop me from seeing his tweets. Yeah, I have a feeling that he is like a special like 
feature for his block. Is there, maybe I turn this off or something? But no, I need it up. So I can't really turn off the arm. I mean, the arm is doing something really weird right now. Okay, I don't feel like that was the intended path, but it worked, so whatever. I mean, like, I think I was supposed to do that a little bit better. Listen to that, like, not music music. It's got, like, an industrial thing going on. Hold on, let me turn it up, and then I'll, I'll click back into the window. Cool, isn't it? So progress is that way, but <sighs> does that mean I have to do the thing again or no, I can just go around this way. Oh! Okay, we're fine. I could have gone the other way, but I mean, like, interact. There we are. But I should mention that we're doing a D and D again today, or um, Baldur's Gate, I guess. But you know, it's D and D. Um, so that'll be at four my time. Hold on, let me get the exact time on that. In about four hours, and he said that at eleven seventeen my time. So 12, so three. Okay, so like an hour from now. Cool. Okay, Mike can't do math, it turns out. I don't know, I, I told him to come and message me uh, when it was time. Hello. Hey, is that a mouse? What's the mouse doing all, all the way up here? Wait, did mom say mice are dangerous? You're thinking of rats. Hey, I think it's looking at us. Oh, hey, yeah. stranger danger. Stay back. Yeah, you're gonna be sorry when mom gets back, you rat. I have a letter for you. It's from Miss Amber. Miss Amber, that's mom. Mom, mom. Mom, mom, mom mama. Say, Mr. Postmouse, is our mama is in here to read us a letter? Do you think you can read it for, to us? Uh, sure, I can. I've not seen Mike's new hair. I've seen his fake new hair with the broccoli bag, but I haven't seen him actually get the cut yet. Just in case, I'll answer hello hi awful how are you i am doing pretty good thanks for asking i understand you are the homeowner of a single family regular house right i have houses I play, pay so much money on house. That's pretty much all the information I needed now. I will transfer this call real quick to the supervisor. Uh, yeah, this uh, is Dylan from Get Solar. How are you? I I'm doing fine. How about yourself? I'm fine. Thank you so much, bro. Uh, so, you know, we are providing you some free information and course about solar program. So, I believe you are the homeowner, right? Uh, sure, what was your name? Yeah, uh, my name is John and I'm calling you from Get Solar. Our company name is Get Solar. So, am I Mr. Brian Moll? Uh, no. No. Okay. No, I'm sorry, Kevin. Uh, are you the owner of single family regular house? Uh, uh, yes. Yes, I own a couple houses. I, I do, um... I've got the, the whole um, Airbnb thing going. Okay. Are you still there? He 
just hung up, I guess. I was gonna be like, yeah, yeah, I don't know why he was, uh... Yeah, I was like, yeah, what if I say I have bunches of houses? Because I've said I've had no houses before, and that doesn't work for him. So I was like, what if I say I have a lot of houses? That was such an easy sell, you know? And then he was like, I will become a bird. I've realized the dangers of capitalism and landlords. I'm going to turn into a bird now. And then he lived his best life there. Anyway. That works for warranty scams. You just have to say you have like five cars. Okay. I missed a pingal. I did. I'm sorry. Pingal. Ahem. To my little chicks. I hope you're eating and staying warm together. Mommy has been trying to get Ruby some help from the doctor, but it's going to take a bit longer than I expected. When you grow up, I hope you will be nicer to some of the Robins that I've met in the city. Though it's not all gloom here. I met Dr. Hawthorne just outside of town. He's very smart and kind city robin who has promised to help our ruby very soon just hold on a bit longer and don't leave the nest until your father gets back there's some extra grub under the nest if you need it stay fluffy and warm love mom oh so mom's okay i hope that's a good doctor for ruby's sake i miss her thank you mr postmouse sorry for calling you a scary rat you're way nicer i know you will grow big wings someday just like us and so you won't have to climb that tower again are you going back to the post office now? Yeah, yes. Well, no. Oh, that's all right. You can stick around for as long as you want, I guess. You can just ask us if you want to go home. Mom taught us to shortcut. I mean, I was going to get you your food, but I guess not. Yeah, I'm going to head back now. Yeah, Ruby knows best mouse jokes. I'd love to, but, you know, the shortcut. Could you maybe tell me beforehand next time? We can do that. Don't fall on your way back, Mr. Postmouse. Oh, it looks like the boss is out. I should head home. But is that a letter on his desk? I've already delivered two. Would it be such a shame if I kept another family of birds waiting to hear it would be such a shame if i kept another family of birds waiting here from the loved ones or maybe it's an elderly hedgehog waiting to hear from her grandchildren better take it it's addressed to irene i should go ask around to find out where she lives there's like some clipping on the the graphics and such but i think it's fine do you know who irene is okay you, you don't have voice or things anymore how did I do this earlier Okay. So you want me to do this, and then there we go. Okay. Hey, do you know who Irene is? What is this I see? A postmouse outside past curfew? How unusual. I don't live at home anymore, and I don't have a curfew. No, but I figured someone like you who never breaks the rules would stick to it anyway. Don't you also have a curfew? I'm just packing the final ingredients for my sextuplet birthday feast. I'll be out of your fur before you know it. Do consider coming for the party. Mom might really just get our siblings to kidnap you if you don't. Mount, baby mouse with baby mouse? I mean, he seems like he might be an adult at this point, but you know, it's still baby. You should read the march or you should watch the march on the mice it's on youtube i made it it's about a little mouse going on an adventure and everything goes fine for them and they don't have any war trauma at all thank you i'm glad you guys like it it's um product of love and something that i spent several years uh 
cooking up. Though we didn't get to any of the parts that were actually parts that I wrote for that. Um, I don't know how if, if that makes sense or not, but like I, I needed to get the story to a sp certain spot before I could start doing the stuff that I'd actually like planned for years. But the general premise has been around for years. Like uh, the stuff you wrote prior to Town of Nowhere? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, March of the Mice is like... Both March of the Mice and Town of Nowhere are like, you know, veiled explanation of, like, my life or at least my my views on things uh obviously it gets changed a lot by chat interacting with it but i don't know it might be best to just make march of the mice a, a web comic or something instead but i don't know if i really have time for a web comic hey do you know Well, Postmouse, you're out late, are you not? Just got one more delivery to make, and then I'll be done for the day. One more delivery? It's very dark out. Can you even read in this light? I I'll work something out. Still, you owe you a favor, if I recall. Just so happen to have a firefly in a jar. Not very rare, but difficult to get a hold of. Would you give me some? Why would you would give me something so valuable? If that letter you carry is anywhere near as important as the one you brought me, I would happily help you. Let me free this firefly for you. It shall light the way. Thank you, Mr. Pablo. Webcomic with chat input. A, a thing I thought about is doing... Essentially, March of the Mice, but on YouTube, where, like, a series of events happen, and then people in the comments will say what they want to have happen. It means significantly less editing, and I can spend more time drawing in between. So basically what Prom Sleuth was doing, but instead as a YouTube series. Ooh, a, a thing. Uh, hello. Does anything concern you, Mr. Postmouse? No, nothing in particular. Nothing at all? I'm not fearless, if that's what you're asking. Concerns are good for small things like us, but sometimes there's a point where... Concerns turn into roadblocks. The way you are searching for is like that. Should I be concerned? Don't worry about it. What was that conversation? That wasn't Roach. That was a... Was it a, a pack? Something or other? I don't remember what it was. But it wasn't Roach. Bagworm. Yeah, I don't know what a bagworm is, really, but... I mean, like, I really hope whoever made this game went on to make more games. They seem talented. It's This is a little rough, but this is also a student project, so it's entirely possible this was done with, like, finals in mind. Or also while finals were going on and all the crap you have to deal with with school. So like, you know, it's also the first maybe project. Oh, no, it shows a lot of promise as someone who, you know. Why is the music spooky? This place is dark. Maybe coming here was a mistake, but no. I've started this task, now I have to see it through. I have to find Miss Faraday. Yeah, this is like way more involved than your regular student game. Like, it's got a lot going on. Hmm. I don't know if I can make that jump. It looks a little far. I don't think I'm supposed to go up there. Uh-oh. I, 
think that was a cat. Just a real, like, mangy cat. Oh, shift to run. I hit space instead. Yes, please. It didn't properly start the uh, chase music, though. Uh, I guess I gave him the slip. Oh. Uh, there's a lot of invisible walls around here, and that's kind of the problem right now, is, uh, there we go. Now it's ahead of me, which is concerning. I don't know if that means that I can actually complete the level, because, like, it might grab me as soon as I get to it again. I mean, like, this looks like a platforming section that I was supposed to be getting chased through or something. That's a fucked up looking st Oh, okay, that killed me. Oh, okay. Maybe that was the correct thing to do? Felt a little janky, that's all. Oh, shit. Are we doing, like, a stealth segment now? Oh. God damn it. Where am I supposed to go? There's nothing here. What? I can make that jump? Ooh. Oh, the janky controls are starting to catch. What? I don't know where I'm trying to get. And it seems like once the cat like the camera catches up with me, I, I die. Where am I going? Under there? I guess. Okay, I just didn't do it quite right. Dear Irene, it's been a while, hasn't it? Mom's been muttering your name a lot in her sleep, but she doesn't say much. I thought I would reach out again since I've been responding to my other letters. I really hope that you don't hate me still and mom. I'm really ashamed of some of these things and I, I just things haven't been the same since you left. When do you know that Din is moving to the south of Yellow Woods? If you're around, maybe come stop by? Love, your big sis. Someone sent me a letter? And it sounds like they care a lot. Her brave little mouse, you may go. You can leave the letter here. 
and thank you. The facial animations were fucking okay. So like, it, it is a student project, right? Like this was too good for that. Lots of fucking love went into that. Also, the animations for its face better than anything that I've seen from Gollum. Those are all the different engines they use, sure. Gollum's a low bar. Yeah, I know, but that's a AAA game. This is not. I'm just saying, there's some good shit out there, man. That that was cute. That was good. I'm gonna have to double check and make sure I read that. Like, l let me double check the student project thing because that seemed way too good for a student project. Store page. Join Post Mouse on their very first journey to deliver the mail in Treacherous World, unfit for a tiny mouse. Solve ruins, uh, meet charming characters, and solve puzzles on your way through an abandoned mansion in a free student-made adventure all in one small mouse size package. I mean, yeah. Students of the Animation Workshop. It's an animation school from Denmark. Yeah, I mean, fuck. If you're looking for a school to go to, I, I'm kind of like... Pro that. You can get the soundtrack separately. Um, people were saying they couldn't hear it, but there it is. The Animation Workshop. They've come out with a couple other games. Uh, Slay the Dragon is the other one. What kind of game is Slay the Dragon? Same quote-unquote publisher, the Animation Workshop. Yeah, honestly, great. I probably won't play it again because it seems a little, you know, one-off, but that's fine. It's an animation school and not a coding school, so I can excuse the jank. Yeah, I mean, for a free game that students, I think it was good, you know? They have a YouTube channel with a lot of great stuff, too. Awesome. Yeah. Wow. That was a nice little snack. You know, it's not much, but an hour of playtime. Cool. Uh, yeah, d go and go and watch that or go and I don't know, whatever with that when you get time.